Hello! Here I am again! Yay! Um, forgive me if I have like a coughing fit or if I sound weird, it's because I'm sick. And, um, it's like the edible dark marks, they'll make you sick. And that's good because you know what? It's the dark arts box. And they even have the dark mark right there. My box came very moist because it is raining today. I should show you the label. Uh, but yeah, because it's raining. And so it was wet. And it's kind of like, looks a little beat up. And, um, you know, I guess, I guess that's appropriate. You know, for the dark arts. Kind of? No? Maybe? I don't know. You know, whatever. So, um, I have no expectations about this box. By the way, I'm wearing the shirt. You know, why not? Why not? But yeah, um, I have no expectations, so I, I hopefully, therefore, can't really be disappointed this time because I, I, I don't know what I'm getting and I have no, you know, preconceived notions of what I should get. Um, but I do like that, that they did have the, um, the dark mark already there. I did think that if there's going to be something, it should probably have some dark mark related merchandise in here. So. Well, without further ado, let's see, shall we? So I'm gonna open it. And it's a lot smaller, as you can see, than any of the other boxes we've got so far. Um, I don't know if there's a t-shirt in here, um, but we'll find out. Okay, so let's crack open this dark mark. Um, yeah. Did I get it? It's, oh, it's all wet. Ugh. I hope everything's okay in here. It's like soggy. Oh, there is a t-shirt. Okay, well. Is it wet? I think it, no. Yes, it's wet. Holy crap. Okay. It is wet. There's a wet t-shirt in here. That sucks. But, I mean, it is just water. Damn, it got wet. What the hell? So, here's what the box looks like. You see the little dark more um the um death eater masks all over the inside so that's cool um but yes let's let us look at my very wet it's not that that wet but it's wet on the bottom it's gonna have to dry off it's a good thing i opened this like soon after i got it um so here is i don't know what it is let's see it is oh Oh, it's Grindelwald. Uh, spoiler, if anyone hasn't seen, um, you know, uh, 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 Fantastic Beasts. Oh, my brain isn't working. Again, I blame the cold. It's not my fault. So, we've lived in the shadows for too long. So, yeah, it's, 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 well, it's Grindelwald, but he's in disguise. So, that's, that's what this t-shirt is. Um, he is... I forgot his name. I did see Fantastic Beasts, but I only saw it once in the theater. I will buy the series, the um, the, sh the movie on uh, Blu-ray at some point, because it was really good. But yeah, um, oh, was his name Greaves? I hope so. I hope I'm not saying something wrong. Ugh. I feel like I always should just do like a, 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 some research before I open these boxes, because just so that, that I'm not saying things. <laughs> Sorry, again, I'm sick. Saying things that are stupid, but... Um, yeah, so... so Percival Greaves, I want to say. Um, who is... Um, who works for the Ministry of Magic. But no, he works for the... Um, the, the Magical Congress in New York. Um, so he... So that's really cool that we... I didn't expect that. I didn't expect... Because I completely forgot, like, this is a Fantastic Beast box, too. Because we haven't gotten any Fantastic Beast stuff since, I think, the first box. So, I mean, that's really nice. I'm glad. Yay. You mean, I mean, you're a little wet, Grease. Like, right here, look. You can't... You won't be able to see it, but it's, like, a little wet spot. That's gonna dry. I gotta dry that off. So, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, this is in plastic, and that's good. What is this? So this is the second item. I'm trying to see if there's okay. The second item: stationary wax stamp set. Uh, contains wax stick, stamp, six envelopes, six note cards, velvet bag, uh, ensemble de papeterie avec étampe de. See that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I said that all wrong. I butchered that, and I. But here's what. It, oh, oh my God. Uh, it is so glary. So here's what this looks like when I open it because you can't really see anything because it's in a bag. So let me open this. Manufactured by Innovative Design. Um, this is interesting. This is something different. I've always, when I went to um, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I was like, I saw all the like little cute, you know, like the, the fancy stamp sets and quills and things like that. And I didn't buy them, but I was tempted to. It's really, I mean, something different. So this is stamp and stationery set, wax stamp, which makes it extra cool. Let's see. I'm surprised this is in the dark arts thing, though. You wouldn't think so. Like I wouldn't think. That this would be in here. I'm really glad they sealed it in plastic, especially since my box got soaked. Uh, okay, so, these are probably, oh yeah, these are the envelopes. Oh, and it has like, um, it has, it's embossed. No, oh, you're not going to be able to see. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish I could show it to you better. You could kind of see it. My lighting is like really awful. You can, it's like embossed, there's like, um, I don't know, it's like a, a snake, a snake thingy, I think, I don't know, Ugh. let me see here, let's see, let's open, it's probably the wax and the stamp, this is the wax, and this is, yeah, sure enough, and there's the same, okay, so you can see the design better here, you can see it on the stamp. Nice, okay. All right. Oh, it's really nice quality. Like, it's got a nice wooden handle. It's like, um, and there's the stamp. The design is, this is the same design on the, um, the envelopes on the um, paper. And um, here is the red wax that you would melt, and you would press that in there, and you would, you know, seal it. And um, I don't know when I'm going to use this. I don't know who wants to get letters from the dark, the dark arts. Um, oh, it's a card. That's really cool. But how would you even, what are you going to write in a black card? What are you going to write here? It's black. <laughs> what are you going to use to write? That's. I guess you could use like gel pens, maybe like silver. Oh, that would look really cool actually. Silver writing, but yeah, this design on here that's embossed. There you go. You oh, there you go. You could see it better there. There you go. Haha. -ha. Same as this. And um, I can't remember what that's supposed to be. Is it? It's sup. It's it's got the snakes. Is it supposed to be like um, the basilisk maybe or? Oh, I'm so wrong. I don't know. I don't remember. Or is this more Fantastic Beasts? I wish I was told because I really don't remember like the art from the different films. So I feel dumb. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really cool. It would look really good with silver. I, I think that that would look nice if you wrote something silver inside and you put it in your with your black card and your black envelopes and you stamped it with your red wax and be like, you're Lucius Malfoy and you're sending out some kind of message complaining to the Ministry of Magic about Dumbledore. I don't know. Like, it's yeah, that. That's really cool. There's something different. I like that. Don't know if I'm going to use it. And if I did, I don't know what I'd use it for. But it's, I like that it's something different. And unexpected that you would get that for the Dark Arts box, I think. But yeah. I think that's really nice. And like I said, the stamp especially is like a nice quality. Um, but yeah, I like that. Okay, so, wee! And I have a little velvet bag. So I got that. And I got my... Oh, I'm, again, I'm so glad this was sealed in plastic because it would have been soaked and destroyed. Okay, so, yay! Got um, Sealed. Okay, so that was another item. There's also, there's a box. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. What is this? 
Oh my god, I see cat plates and that could only mean Umbridge. Oh, I feel like most people really hated Umbridge more than Voldemort. A lot of people hated Umbridge more. Because she, she was persistently present in the fifth book and she just was like directly responsible for things. And uh, <laughs> Excuse me. But, um, okay, so here's the next thing. I'm very curious what this is. It says Underground Toys, Harry Potter. And as you can see, there's the cat plates. For our favorite headmaster, headmistress, I should say, um, who who decorates in such fashion, um, I have nothing against cats. Honestly, I felt like I felt a little offended. I love cats. In fact, nothing against. I love cats. I had cats for years, um, and cats are the best. They're awesome. So I was a little offended that she was like associated in any way with a cat. Oh my god. And my, I was like, no, they're not seriously giving me... Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> I was so happy and excited and amused that I am coughing up everything. Like, great. So, but, oh my god. Oh my god. You literally get the place. <laughs> you get the place. <laughs> you too can decorate like Umbridge. Look at that little face. They're so cute. Oh, oh my god. And they're actually, like, I mean, are they? Yeah. Hand wash only. Do not microwave. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, why would you want to cook on this cute little face? Um, but this is hilarious. And it does feel, it's like, I don't think this, I think this is glass? Plastic? A, a plastic that feels not plasticky i don't know it's like a good quality plastic maybe or is it is it it's not porcelain is it i don't know it no it's plastic it has to be plastic so this was plastic but it feels pretty like substantial it's not like a cheap plastic um and uh yeah that one's cute a little smushy face oh god this is hilarious i can't believe they gave us this I'm so amused. Oh my god. Here's another one. Here's another kitty. What would I do with this? You can't even really hang these up. What do you do with them? Oh, that's so funny. Serve tea to your, to your, you know, your victims, right? I put it on the kitty plate. Um, here's, here's two kitties. Ooh. This is so funny. Uh, nice, nice work, Luke Craig, because that's, this is hilarious. Ooh, and another swishy face. Look at that. Oh, I can't even. I can't even. I can't believe this is a thing. I did not even. No, I can't. I can't. This box is funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, you get four plates. And, um, you know, you, if you want to decorate like Umbridge, you certainly can now. Because you got the whole set. All that. That's so funny okay so that's amusing don't know what i'm gonna do with them because again like it's not like you can really i mean you could hang them up actually you could probably they have those like plate things that you could put on the wall and put them in but i'm not gonna do that because that's ridiculous but i mean maybe someone will i mean it's pretty it's pretty it would, like Maybe someone wants to decorate like Umbridge. And they are cute kitties, right? I mean, they're pretty cute. Let us not blame them for Umbridge's misdeeds, right? Okay, so there's that. Um, I did find it funny that both Umbridge and um, McGonagall, who both basically have cat Patronuses um, and are associated with cats, because obviously McGonagall turns into one, um, um, I did fi feel like it was hilarious because they are so different. Um, okay, oh, is this the pin? Is this the, the pin? Oh my god, it's a big one again. It's a big pin again, because there's two pin backs again. I don't know why they make them so huge. Like, right now, I have them displayed on a lanyard, on my Harry Potter lanyard that they gave me last time. And, um, the two pin backs, they make them, they, it's, that means they're really heavy. So let's see, here's what it looks like so far. I don't know what's in here. I, it's, it's like, in a little envelope Harry Potter thing. So let's see what's going on. Oh my god, it's even twisty tied. There's a twisty tie. So we've got a twisty tie. This is a massive. What? Oh! 
Oh my god, this is Riddle's diary! Riddle's diary, and this is the Basilisk Fang! Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, I think this might be my favorite one. This is when I looked at it, I was like, what is this whole thing? Why is there a hole in it? There's a hole! Oh wow. Hold on, let me get it out of this. There's, what was that? Oh, that was the twisty cut. Oh, and there's like rubber backs. It's not even like the clippy ones, it's rubber. Because they really want this to stay. So there's literally a hole. See, I can see you through that. And um, the basilisk fang. Oh, they have like a little. Like a little rubber thing on the end to protect the basilisk fang. Don't get poisoned. And then a little click sticks in there. <laughs> you stabbed it. So there, you see, there really is a hole. And you could stab your riddle diary and get rid of this horcrux all over again. Yay! That was really cool. <laughs> like, you had the, the riddle diary. It's really nice looking. And like I said, there's like two rubber backs. I like you see two of them to keep them in place. And then you have the dangly basilisk thing. So, but it's a pretty substantial pin. This is definitely my favorite one so far. So far, I would say that so f this box has amused me the most out of all the boxes I've gotten in the past. Why is dark? How am I? This should be like such, such a like, like, I don't know, dark, um, you know, box. Theme, like the, the but so far I'm just I'm amused so yeah this is pretty, this is awesome I like this this is the first pin I enjoyed so there's that good job okay well here's this is the last item I believe <laughs> I think it's a pencil case so here yeah it's a pencil case with my Azkaban like number on it let's see here I could hold it up as a prisoner of Azkaban in my serial number. Like, ta -da. That's pretty funny. That's hilarious. Um, hey, for freshness. But yeah. So, ah, Azkaban, serial number, pencil case. That's cute. And it's a Loot Crate exclusive. I think this probably is too. I didn't check to see what else is. I'm sure the pin is. Um, I don't think the other two things are. But yeah, that was that was everything in the box. And um, I was looking when I first opened this. I'm like, where's my scroll? My scroll is gonna tell me whether you know what's in here. But there's no scroll. This time, there's this. Okay, no scroll. Just a envelope looking thing, which isn't actually an envelope. And it opens, and let us see what it says this time about our own merchandise. So, Dark Arts. We're exploring the darker side of magic with collectibles, apparel, replicas, and more featuring the characters, places, creatures, and artifacts associated with the dark arts of the wizarding world. This creates magical loot. Percival Graves. Graves, not Greaves. See, oh, so I knew I got that wrong. Percival Graves. It's time to come out of the shadows with this exclusive design Percival Graves t-shirt. Um, Professor Umbridge frolicsome feline plates. Oh god. Adorn your table or walls with these replica plates based on the magical frolicsome feline collection favored by Dolores Umbridge. Indeed. Okay, so Azkaban pouch. Carry your accessories in this pouch designed after the inmates' plates from Azkaban, a reminder of where following the dark arts could lead. Ooh. Uh, Chamber of Secrets stationery set. Oh, it's, it's, it is the Chamber of Secrets. It's the, okay, it was the Basilisk. Okay, good, okay. Ooh, ew. Something I got right. Write to your fellow witches and wizards with this Chamber of Secrets stationery set and wax seal. That's right, that was the thing that was in the door where they they had to open it to get through and it was on the um on the faucet too i think see i just i haven't watched the movies in a while um tom riddle diary pin yes tom riddle's diary pin is inspired by one of the darkest forms of magic and the moment harry destroyed the first of dark lords of the dark lords prized horcruxes yeah the pin's really cool like i i don't know if i'll wear it but i like it <laughs> It's just, I mean, it's kind of heavy, that's why, but it's
it's so cool. And I love that they have the fang hanging from it. That's a nice design. Whoever designed that. But uh yeah, so that's that's the um the list. So we got one, two, three, four, five different items. And um yeah, I I liked it, you know, it was cool. Uh, you'll probably see me wearing this next time since that's become a thing now. I'll wear the t-shirts that I got from the last box in the next video. Um, and this video turned out kind of long. Why is it 20 minutes? Ugh, I talk too much. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I don't know if I have a favorite item. I guess for out of amusement's sake, this was hilarious. But I think the pin might actually be my favorite I think that it's um, it's funny, it's cool, and I like the design. So that's ironic that I just don't like the pins, but this pin was really cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And, um, you know, uh, I don't know what the next box is. I don't think they have announced that yet, um, but uh, I did like the dark arts thing. I, I, you know what I wish we had gotten? Um, obviously, we got Percival Graves, which is cool. But I kind of wish we had something Voldemort more than like Riddle's Diary or like the Chamber of Secrets because that to me isn't Voldemort. I wish we had gotten a Dark Arts, uh, not a Dark Arts, a um, Dark Mark thing, something that had Dark Mark on it. Um, but, you know, that's cool, whatever. So, uh, yeah. That was nice, and I look forward to the next box. We'll see what, what the next theme is, and if they give us more Fantastic Beast stuff, because I, I forgot that this was, because we haven't gotten any in so long, because the first one was so packed with them, with Fantastic Beast items. I think that's why. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to go and hopefully be less sick in the next video. Bye.